Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the 808 Podcast. Podcast, I give people four questions in eight minutes and eight seconds because 808 looks like Bob and the CEOs, business owners, or whoever the hell I feel like. And here we go. Question number one in a few sentences tell us who you are. What do you do? Uh, I'm Michael Carpenter. I'm the uh, founder and CEO of a holdings company called Wiggy Incorporated. Uh, been doing it for about three years now. Uh, I, I have a little bit of investments along with uh, soon getting into real estate and it's mostly e-commerce as of right now, but you know, I'm looking for more real estate equity and uh, credit. So Awesome. Awesome. Michael, question number two, what advice are you going to share? Go for it. Um, well, we're going to, we're going to talk about uh, kind of how to live well below your means, be able to invest in your future so that you don't have to work for a boss or, you know, wait until you're 70 years old to be able to retire. Right. Uh, really, my main advice with that, with living below your means, it, it's, I mean, it's not that simple, but house hacking. You know, that's one of the first things I did once I moved out. I'm 20 years old. So I, I've moved out for roughly about three, four months now. I live with a rent of $400. That's well below what it would be in Omaha, Nebraska. So, and I share the apartment with two other people, house hacking, make sure that you're not paying 1200 bucks a month for an apartment. Uh, the third, or I mean, I guess the second thing with your food, with your credit and stuff, put it on a credit card. Don't, when you use a debit card, you lose track of your uh, spending like crazy. Right. Use a credit card, know what you're spending, spend about three, 400 bucks on food a month. It should be just fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, in terms of, you know, subscriptions and stuff that you would never need see if you can get it from your parents or you can share an account where you're not paying the whole thing right Right. now i literally don't pay for my netflix or hulu i don't pay for amazon prime i don't pay for any of that stuff because i got people who do pay for it and i share it with them um and same applies for or for uh internet as well with a car don't have a car payment if you have a car payment right now, see if you can leverage into a cash deal to go get a car that you own. Mm-hmm. And then uh, pretty much make sure that insurance on there is pretty damn low too. I have liability. It's your car. So you can have liability. Just drive right. safe. Um, well, so I want to go back to the, um, the accounts that you have, you know, all the Netflix, Amazon Prime and all those. Here's the deal with those. If you're not watching it every single day, Wait, cancel it. Wait for the shows to come out. Turn it back on. Exactly. Give yourself trouble. Absolutely. Yeah. So you, just stuff like that. There, we're thinking about if I'm not watching it, you know, not almost every week. I think every week's a more reasonable amount. There, turn it off. Oh, Cobra Kai just came back. Turn it on. Watch yep. Cobra Kai at your at your speed. Turn it back off. Exactly. So well, just stuff like that. There, which is something yeah. I really, really agree with. There. So. Yeah. Also, I would say right now, you know, even though we're filming this in, you know, this is being recorded in January, but in February, stock investing. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, in terms of investing, uh, start looking for companies that have a massive cash value and uh, or like have a ton of cash and have a really simple business model. You know, if you don't understand how Tesla works, don't invest in Tesla. Right. If you don't understand how you know, McDonald's makes their money. Don't invest in McDonald's. McDonald's is a real estate company. A lot of people don't know that. Mm-hmm. It's real estate. Um, Tesla, they make the bulk of their money at break even. And it's, it. well, it is mostly their cars. But I mean, pretty soon it's going to be more things from like their, uh, their uh, the charging stations and stuff. Right. Just where they should be making their money. It's a funnel. Um, but understanding that business model or understanding any business model that a company you're invested in is super important. Uh, I, I like to uh, buy a lot of shares in companies like Virgin Galactic Holdings. That's a very simple business model. Mm-hmm. Um, I have shares in a mortgage company called Rocket Companies. I have shares in a company called Spartan Ash. Okay, it's super simple. It's grocery distribution. Right. Uh, I'm about to buy some shares in Kroger, um, Blackberry, you know? yeah, we, we're actually talking about BlackBerry. And again, <laughs> people would think it were nuts and we don't have much time to talk about it there, but yeah. I talked to you offline about why BlackBerry is such a good deal. Exactly. And you totally agreed with me. 
yeah, I'm going to buy more shares or some shares of that because it's definitely undervalued for what it the potential is. And then um, and just to let everyone know real quick, BlackBerry is not a phone company anymore. They're a software security company that's focusing on automatic, dr uh, automatic driving. And because they have such an experience of security, that's why all, you know, all government phones were Blackberries for a while. They're going to eventually have a leg up over Tesla. Heck yeah. <laughs> there we go. Let's get to question yeah. number three. Time for that there. So what other top CEOs, business owners, influencers that you know that are successful like yourself that you want to give a shout out to and should be a guest on my podcast? Yash Shah. He's a, uh, an e-commerce. Uh, he's actually my mentor, but uh, he's done, I believe, eight figures since starting his journey about seven years ago. Um, and I mean, he just kicks ass, man. I, I really think he should get on or be on this. Um, that's pretty much the only person I can think about right now on okay. the spot because Yash would blow this way. I mean, he's, Dude, I will, I will look him up here. Now, yeah. number four, <laughs> Michael, final fun question. Tell me about your first sale. All right. So my first sale, I'm going to talk about e -com. So since Wig Incorporated owns multiple e-commerce companies, I'm going to talk about Blair. Blair Jewelry is the first company I started under Wiggy. Mm -hmm. um, I was sitting in my math class. Um, and I heard that beautiful ching, uh, because the night before I had started running Facebook ads, uh, for a product I had just found on AliExpress or whatever, and, um, decided, you know, throw it up on there, give it a shot, see what happens. And made my first sale, it, I mean, it was the happiest I'd ever been at that very moment. I mean, I hated that math class. So I was like, oh, now I can remember something good about it. <laughs> That's awesome there. Lo love that story there. So, Michael, we've got one minute and 20 seconds left. So here's what we can do. You can do some promo time. You can ask me a question. You can talk about the weather or whatever there, or we can end early. Whatever you want to do, go for Shit. it. Um, we can talk a little more about BlackBerry on why we like yeah, it so much. Yeah, let's do that, yes. <laughs> okay, so, I'll, so I get to talk more about this here, okay? So the reason, you know, back in the early 2000s, the reason all government phones were Blackberries was because of the security. And the thing is now that they're focusing in the, um, you know, automatic driving space. So they know the security the requirements that are needed. Because actually, believe it or not, there are people in the government, if you remember one of the Fast and Furious movies where the evil villain pushes a button and all these cars start driving. Do you remember? You know what I'm talking about? It's, yeah. it's one of the new, newer ones. Yeah. People in the government are actually afraid of that happening. So that's why it's such a big deal to have such a high security yeah. and BlackBerry is really focusing on that there. And also the current CEO of Apple is already invested in them. So they're probably going to be partnering together when they start doing the Apple automate, you know, car stuff, you know, which is rumored out there. I'm definitely, uh, definitely going to be interested in buying shares in that. I mean, they, uh, you know, for anybody who's uh, more on that tech side or the uh, financial side of wondering if companies uh, viable. Um, when we first started talking about this, this share was at $12.23. It is now $12.95. So it's growing. People are interested in it. It's also got $64 million. Oh, there we go. We pulled, that's the time there. I got, we got to wrap up there. Michael, right, yeah, you no pulled problem. it off. Four questions in eight minutes and eight seconds. And why is it eight minutes and eight seconds, Michael? Because 808 looks like bum. Yeah, there we go. Hey, we have a link to your Facebook group in the description below. It's magic. So we'll go there. Michael, thank you so much for being on. Tip of the hat to you. Thanks, man. I appreciate you're, it. You're welcome there. And for everyone else watching or listening, I am legally required to tell you to like, share, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, ring the bell, whatever the heck the social media network tells you to do. This is Bob Clark with the A-Weight Podcast. Talk to you later. Bye.